Welcome back, everyone. So before we start on the interview, let me throw some weather out there for you. Today, we're looking at a high of 71, folks. It's here. Fall's here. I had soup for lunch. It was fabulous. But we do, we're looking at some more thunderstorms today. Personally, I loved the thunderstorms last night. <laughs> I thought it was great. My car, not looking so hot this morning. But, you know, I loved it. It looks like thunderstorms for the next couple days. And the highest we're going to get over the next week is Saturday, 80 degrees. Not bad. I'm loving it. I just bought a couple sweaters online. Mom, I hope you're not watching this. But I just <laughs> bought a couple sweaters online, and so I'm all excited that by the time they get here, it's going to be time to wear them, and it's going to be so great. That's great. Now, what's the weather for Thursday? Thursday, we are looking at 72 degrees, sunny with some clouds, so not bad. Well, that sounds like it'll be a great day for your art hop, Bill. Well, thank you. Now, uh, guys, we'd like to welcome Bill Wolfman Hello. to yes. our studio, uh, local artist. Thank you. Yes, and beautiful work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. Um, now you have a studio showing over at yes, a Studio uh, 74, correct? Right? Studio, studio 74, that's 1274 on Van Ness. Yeah, just up the, the street it's from about here. Four or five us. doors right up from here. Yeah. So all of Van Ness and walk up. Great studio. You see all the Christmas tree lights out there? That's the studio. That's right. And I look forward to all of everybody looking to come along. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. I hope you enjoy the show. I'm covering you work that I've done in the last three years, work I did in China, and Italy, Florence, Milan, Rome, and Vienna, and uh, right of things I did in San Francisco, and uh, it's, just, it's a show for everybody. That's great. Um, a world, worldly uh, art exhibit in well, this thank case. You. Mm -hmm. Well, it's no secret I love to travel. <laughs> when I travel, I try to do aesthetic things go to galleries, go to studios, and over the years I've accumulated an insight into art, but it's only since the last three years since I retired from being a sportswear buyer. <laughs> uh, in fact, at God Shorts, uh, in fact, I bought sweaters, by the way. <laughs> Very good, uh, all sweaters. <laughs> uh, that I've been doing it seriously, and, uh, it's, but it's something I always wanted to do. It's the first thing I ever but you know, growing, growing up in Europe, times were difficult. I had to go learn a trade. Eventually, mm -hmm. I was in the fashion business, which, by the way, I loved. I was in it for more than 60 years. But um, so I reverted back to what I wanted to do initially, which was to be a painter. So I'm just loving every moment. Mm -hmm. And th uh, thanks to um, Diane, there's a wonderful gallery just four or five doors from there. She gave me the opportunity, and I'm showing a total of 70 works. 70? 70 works. I've My goodness, 70 in the, works. In the last three years. So, you know, I'm a busy guy. Yeah, uh, definitely. But it's, it takes you all away from, I studied uh, brush painting in China for six weeks. It was three years ago. And uh, I have a whole room full of those brush paintings. Uh, then I studied art history in Florence. In, uh, in Arezzo and in Florence last year. And this year I started painting in Florence and Rome for a total of six weeks. Wow. So there's work from all over, uh, all over the world, so to speak. And uh, as I said, just thanks for the opportunity. And um, uh, my paintings de uh, lately are more portraiture. Uh, I was asked to do portraits for a, a, a convent, local convent, and uh, through that, through that, I sort of got interested more into portraiture, and also I studied the Vatican this year for two days. Wow! Uh, yeah, because uh, my favorite artists, you know, Pontormo, Raffaello, Michelangelo, so I was really at home. Mm -hmm. So. I hope everybody out there will come to see my show. Yeah, Definitely. guys, feel free to make it to the show. It's Studio 74 this Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, 5 o'clock? Is that It's perfect? 5 to 9. 5 to 9? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely, guys, make it. It's beautiful I, artwork. You can see it on both from the, the website and the artwork that was brought in by Bill. Um, yeah, this is my Lady in Purple over here, and then this is Lady in the Light 
in the Acor. The, the one on, on in the background on the website? Yeah. Okay. See it. Yeah, you, you see it right there. Mm -hmm. Now, we actually brought the portrait in with us, but we've got it on the site, too, so it <laughs> works but, out where we can see them both uh, at the same time. Know, but portraiture is just part of my uh, work. There's a lot of landscapes, seascapes, still lives, and uh, I enjoy my blossoms from China, too. So there's something for everybody. Yeah. And, uh, so I can do a portrait change? Yes, apparently. Don't mind the man <laughs> placing the portrait? What's that? Or the oh. hands placing the portrait? Oh, okay. The man behind the green curtain. Uh, if you just have a second, let me tell you about this portrait. Yes, definitely. Sure. Um, this is called Lady in the Light, but people who know my daughter know that she did set for this. And what I've tried to do here is a shaft of light hitting her on the side of the face. And as it washes down the front of the hands, and it creates a dramatic effect. If you look into the background, there, there are plants. Mm -hmm. And um, this is sort of a breakthrough work for me. Uh, and uh, I've done a whole series where I've done backgrounds. For instance, this is my aqua background. The other one is my purple background. Mm -hmm. And I have a portraiture with red backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not sure if other artists are using this approach. Maybe Rembrandt did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a lot of uh, a lot of years ago. Yeah. But uh, for me, it, each portrait has to have something more than just a picture. It has to uh, sort of capture the soul of the person. And actually, you know, say the window, the soul is through the eyes. Mm -hmm. That's why I was looking at your eyes. <laughs> um, so this is uh, uh, my portraits, I try to make them speak. Mm -hmm. So I do more than just the picture. I just going to the inside of the person. And these are just two. I, of course, I have other subjects, too, in portraiture. But um, uh, thank goodness to City College mm -hmm. <laughs> for the last three years. And mm -hmm. uh, I had some wonderful teachers. And uh, I know they're going to be at the art show. Very so, good. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. And I um, want to plug the, the show in again. Studio 74, mm -hmm. right here right just down the street from our studio now granted we encourage you guys always to go to art hop oh yes every art hop uh, there's two art hops in fresno two standard ones that's the downtown and tower district art hop and then there's the north fresno art hop hmm. which is uh the third thursday if i'm not mistaken yeah, third thursday of the month north. yeah so definitely you know go to all the art galleries folks uh, you've got four hours to stop by all these galleries so uh definitely Make an effort. Go out there tonight. Or Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night, Thursday. yes. First Thursday of every month for the downtown and tower yeah. district art hop. Yeah, I'm taking my kids out. And so you'll oh, probably see us out there. Look forward to it. Yeah, definitely. And the kids love artwork, and I'm sure they'll love your, your portraits oh, and your work. You. Well, that, that's, it's a big variety. of something for everybody. Exactly. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, thank you so much for coming, Bill. Thanks nice for coming on. You, Ashley. It's been a pleasure. Okay, well, um, I think we should probably go ahead and go to commercial break. Yes. And uh, stay tuned, folks. We've got some interviews uh, recorded from yesterday mm -hmm. with uh, Masiela Lucia. The, uh, she played Carmen on the George Lopez show. She came to talk to, to us about her new book. Mm -hmm. And we've also got Little Black Dog Publishing right after that. Stay tuned, folks. Central Valley Talk. 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 Talk.